heading out to uh, Alamogordo. We're actually going back to Alamogordo. We were just at a training post up the up the road, and uh, we're gonna go check out this barbecue place that Six Pack found. Can't stop smoking. Uh, we found their original location up in Rio Doso, but it looks like they had a little accident. Um, they really couldn't stop smoking. They burnt the place down. Yeah, place, yeah, they must have had some good smoke going until then. But anyway, so we're gonna get over there and then we'll, we're gonna check it out. place we we haven't eaten all day so we're gonna go pick up so I think I'm gonna go with just the basic brisket a couple ribs a couple sides and we'll see what we get hi Maria Okay, so I'm gonna take the the smokehouse combo number three. Okay. And I'm gonna go with the two meats. So I'm gonna take brisket from the point. Do you have that? Like yeah, from the point. I'll take ribs. And then do you have potato salad and macaroni and cheese? <laughs> I did all this weird stuff out there. Oh there it is. That's weird. Yes, please. Dinner roll or a jalapeno cornbread? Uh, dinner roll. Dinner roll. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, the, uh, the brisket sandwich combo. Oh, is that brisket? Oh, I'm just, I could see a little bit. All right, first impression, what do you think? Links are good. Links? Links. A few ribs. Looks pretty good. Looks like I got more of the brisket off the point. I'm sorry, the flat. I'm going to go ahead and dig in. So these guys make their own sauce, and I went with the spicy, and they have a traditional as well. So the ribs look pretty good. Looks like they were definitely cooked for a long time. Done kind of Texas style, Central Texas style. Not too spicy and salty. Brisket looks all right. So the brisket is really good. Then I'm gonna have to sauce it up a little bit. Brisket's a little dry, I think, because it's off the flat. Um, I asked for off the point. This is what I got. I didn't know they were cutting me the wrong piece, but it still is pretty good. <clears throat> so the sides taste pretty good. It's kind of what I'd expect from a little place like this. They're definitely good. Got nothing bad to say about it. I like it all. I'd say it's uh, from one to ten. I'd probably give it a seven or eight. Not bad. So they hooked me up with the last of the uh, baked beans of the day, free of charge. <clears throat> nice. You got a little mac and cheese with some of their classic rub. Nice. So you got some of their hot sauce. Got some of their hot. They're spicy and they're uh, traditional. Got the brisket loaded down with everything, jalapenos, pickle, pickles, and uh, onions. And a couple pork ribs to top it off. A little tight off the bone, but they do fall apart. Pretty good. Their sauce is good, on point. They got a traditional, and they got a, a spicy. I got both. Mm -hmm. Very good. Awesome. I'd say that's three thumbs up from the 
Alamogordo Barbecue Crew. How's that for a sandwich? It looks good. What do you think? That's money. What do you think for yours, Josh? Good. Great. It's good. The uh, peach cobbler is amazing. Yeah. So they have a lot of great desserts here, and I think they were giving these cookies away. They're included, right? Size my name. Yeah. Got a little ring. You see that? A little ring. Uh -huh. Pulls apart a little bit. Little tension. Good pull. Okay, we've got Alfred here from Can't Stop Smoking, the manager, and uh, he's going to give us a quick tour of uh, their smoker and, and their little operation here really quick. So you got some brisket ready to go in, huh? Angus. Angus. Angus uh, Iowa Premium. Okay. So that looks pretty good. It's uh, So is that a prime? The what? Is that prime? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. So, so that's a nice little stack of brisket. I can probably handle two or three of these in my Yoder smoker at home, which you guys have seen another video on. But uh, this is a nice little operation. And we smoke with uh, the southern side. Okay. A little dirty, but it's all right. Hey, smokers! Smokers are meant to be uh, well seasoned. Okay, so what kind of smoker do you call this? Is it a? It's a Southern Pride. It's a Southern Pride. Yeah. Okay. And so this rack basically just moves around. Yeah, it rotates. Okay, I see. When I close this door. Oh, I see. All right. I usually have a pedal right here, but it, that thing we need to fix that thing. Okay. But it's just that wood chamber in the back. Uh huh. Okay, so there's there's no exhaust or. Uh... Uh, it's outside. Oh. Okay. okay, so got a nice little stick sack here. Oh, can you put wood in there? The wood chamber, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was maybe electric or something. There we go. So you got a little propane assist, and then you just throw in the wood. Yeah. So is that propane always running like that? Uh, no. What kind of wood do you use? It heats the heats fires up the wood. Uh huh. Okay. And then nice little stack. So what kind of uh, wood do you use? We use oak. Oak. We smoke with oak. The fact is, I have uh, our dry rub. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is our seasoning, our, our dry rub. So do you guys sell this here? Yes. We okay. have that for sale off track. Okay. Nice. So what's your process for, for getting your briskets done? Well, yeah. what I do is uh, I, I wet them. I wet them and then I rub them. Okay. I rub them. And then I uh, put them on the smoker. Okay. It's really simple. Uh -huh. Really simple. So, you, so when you say you wet them, do you... Uh, what, with water or sugar? Uh, just with water, yeah. Just a little water, and then yeah. you, uh... You saw that seasoning can stick. Okay. And, uh... They go overnight. Okay. Overnight, 13 hours. So, 13 hours, okay. I didn't taste a lot of vinegar. Um, what do you use to spritz, or do you... On our, on our ribs? On the ribs. It's just a dry rub. Just, just a dry rub. Just, oh. just a dry rub, yes. Okay, so the same dry rub on the brisket is getting on the ribs. Awesome. And do you guys spritz them or, or keep them wet? No. Okay. No. All right. So they taste really good. They taste awesome. So, so, so 13 hour cook. And uh, so we, we have a saying in barbecue, there's no secrets in barbecue. So, so I'm, I'm, thank you for sharing that with us, 13 hours. Um, it definitely tasted that way. It tasted really good. Uh, had really good texture. The fat seemed to be rendered down really well. It, it tasted really good. So. Iowa Premium. Premium. All right. That's top of the line, Black Angus. Personally, I like plenty of fat left on there, so it can render down, keeps it moist, keeps right. it nice and juicy, get a lot yeah, of good that's flavor. That's why we do it after. Yeah. 
basically this part right here. Helps protect the meat. I'll cut a little bit off. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we tell the rest. Keeps it from drying out. You're right. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Good way to go to do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again, Albert. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Next time we're in Alamogordo. Not sure where that will be, but be sure to go check out Can't Stop Smoking on Facebook. I think they have a Facebook page, right? Yeah. Yeah, Can't Stop Smoking on Facebook. I'm not sure if they have Instagram yet, but definitely look them up. Next time you drive through uh, Alamogordo, uh, take that detour, hit them up. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Come and meet Yolanda and Maria. <laughs> so these are the guys that make it all happen. Yes, Yolanda that's right. and Maria, you're not going to have barbecue. These guys are the best servers in Alamogordo. Come and check us out. There we go. Yeah.